Starting next week, many Americans will face new requirements to stay eligible for federal food assistance. State House reporter Mary Green has details on the changes coming to the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, better known as SNAP. Right now, certain Americans enrolled in SNAP are required to work or volunteer at least 20 hours a week to stay eligible. In the coming weeks, more people will be under that requirement. DSS, again, didn't make this decision. We just implement uh, what is uh, required by the federal government, and President Biden signed this as part of the Fiscal Responsibility Act of 2023. So that's where these changes came into place. Right now, this requirement applies to SNAP recipients determined to be able-bodied adults with Without dependents ages 18 to 49. Next week, that age range bumps up to 18 to 50, and then again in October to 18 to 52. There are exceptions to this work requirement, some of which are new. These are for people who can't work because of a physical or mental disability, those who live in a SNAP household with a minor, who are pregnant, veterans, homeless, and people formerly in foster care up to age 24. The director of South Carolina Appleseed Legal Justice Center says if SNAP recipients get a notice that they'll soon be under the work requirements, they should be aware of the exemptions and see if any apply to them. We want people to understand that so they can tell their DSS worker and despite all the other obstacles in their way of, of being able to work, they're at least not being um, forced to go hungry. Lawmakers put a temporary law in the current state budget that prohibits the state through DSS from applying for any additional waivers related to that SNAP work requirement, something that other states might do. Berkowitz says that should be re-examined to at least allow South Carolina the possibility if it needs it. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. Well, SNAP recipients who fall in the work requirement age range and do not have an exemption and don't meet that work requirement can only get benefits for three months. Then they lose the benefits for the next 36 months unless they start and continue to meet the work requirement.